Hey everybody, how you doing? Dash and Dave here again. Please click that subscribe button and hit that like button. Thank you very much. it's Saturday the 17th wasn't gonna make any videos today just get out here and run it's been a fantastic day for uber eats they're hitting hard and they're hitting big okay so I just had about a 10 minute wait there at Perkins they're just slammed but I had a nice double from them so I waited for it okay so uh, the guy brought out uh, an order and I said is that for Garrett and he goes no it's for Liz well, when I showed up in the cubby there where the pickups are for delivery, I'd looked at the one that was in there already, and it was for Liz. So he put the other one in there, and I looked at the one he brought out, Liz F or whatever. Looked at the one down below, Liz F. Looked at the ticket, identical order. Now, in the 10 minutes that I was there total, nobody came and got the first one. So the hostess had a minute there. They're just slammed. They had a party at 12. Wow, that ought to be illegal. Anyway, uh, I said, hey, just to let you know, those two are identical. Had different Uber Eats or DoorDash numbers on them. And she goes, well, that's weird. And then she had to run away and take care of somebody. But she had another minute. A few minutes later, and I said, I know what happened. And she goes, what? And I said, this one's been here for a while, hasn't it? And she goes, yeah, the first one. I said, okay, Liz isn't a tipper nobody has come and picked that order up so she canceled it after a 15 20 minute wait replaced the order so you know not tipping they're gonna throw away $15 worth of food because she didn't tip now here's gonna be the interesting thing <laughs> you're already thinking about it aren't you whoever the Dasher or Uber Eats driver is that comes in which one are they going to grab? Because <laughs> I guarantee you they're not going to look at the at the order number. I probably wouldn't. I'd see Liz, grab it and go. So anyway, yeah, I'd love to see you. Love to have it be the old one. Yeah, that'd be cool. But anyway, there's another aspect of no tips. We've talked about it before. You know, nobody will go and pick it up. And this one here is a new one as far as from what I've heard and seen she canceled the order after too long of a wait in her mind for her no tip meal and placed it again I wonder how long the second one's gonna wait had Belgium pancakes I may go back there and see if I can't get the first one <laughs> all right so it's about 10 to 11 on Sunday the 18th heading home went over for a couple hours just like I did yesterday on Saturday I did four hours yesterday three hours and 45 minutes today uber eats was banging we've been looking at them that was saturday now we're going to show you uh, sunday uh look at this one here massive tip increase of course they were going to pay that anyway it was for two dozen donuts and some orange juice from casey's to about two miles so thank you very much great tip uh doordash has not been playing very nice this weekend, the few hours that I've been out, Uber Eats has been king. I've done one or two uh, spark runs both yesterday and today. That helped bump up the totals. I think I'm like at $28 an hour for a few hours here this morning, $32 an hour yesterday. Uh, I did get up to 70% acceptance trading. Wow. Okay, so uh, it was real cold this morning, four degrees. Thursday coming up here our high is gonna be zero uh, the students are gone we're on winter break so we'll see how this week goes remember this is all new to me last year I was UPS -ing. so we'll uh, see how this uh, really bitter cold week and snow and students being gone how it works my market all right we'll see you then all right guys and gals that's all I've got for you today hopefully you can take something from this video and put it to use for yourself thanks for coming along for the ride and hope to see you next time